in this video let's take a look at transfer learning so transfer learning is recent and it's exciting space for research this is a method through which you can bring in reusability and the transfer of skills into neural networks and frankly speaking this is what will actually accelerate the advancement of neural networks even further and even faster all right awesome so in this small example what we're going to do is we are going to import the resnet 50 model and it has been trained on the ImageNet, so the weights are going to be based on ImageNet. So you're going to import that model which has already been trained and the architecture is the ResNet 50. We are going to pass a image, this can be any image which is a little bit related to the classes of the original ImageNet dataset and it's going to go through a set of reshaping and then pre-processing and then we're going to use the predict method to predict based on this model so really exciting let's take a look at how to do this the first thing is to import the library so this is application.resnet50 import resnet50 so this is the model itself so that's a cool thing about Keras it also has inbuilt models so you can just import it and directly start using it then there is pre-processing we will take a look at it shortly what that is and then there is application.resnet import then some more of these functions we need also numpy for this example all right so we're creating a variable called model and you're signing the resnet 50 and the weights are going to be imagenet okay so then this is the image which you're going to test in other words you're going to use this model to predict what this image is this image is sent through a resizing function so target size is going to be 224 comma 224 and then it also is sent through another pre-process which is going to align the format of this image to match the format of the model okay then finally you're sending this to the predict function and then we're gonna take a look at the results the print function is actually bringing out the decode prediction which is another function and this brings out the top three predictions okay so this image is of a tiger all right so i'm going to show this to you so this is the picture of the tiger really nice picture here and if you want to understand the properties let's go to the properties here and take a look at it so this is a dimension 161 in a 125 okay all right good so this is what is sent to the network we're going to take a look at the elephant in just a bit so i think we're ready and this is all the code is that's the awesome part about the keras api okay all right let's go ahead and execute this one here so this might take a little bit time depending on your computer and other factors so give it some time to respond to your query okay so it's back with the result took about 15 seconds on my machine and these are the results so predicted it thinks it's a tiger and it's pretty confident about it so that's really good it also thinks it is a tiger can't but that confidence level is really low and also thinks it's a zebra but again that's very very low and these values are shown because you're asking for the top three so this has done a really great job in terms of classifying because the positive one is very far from the negative ones really good going now i do have another image of elephant okay so let me bring up the elephant here so this is the one so let's feed this one and see what happens okay all right so shift and a i have not changed anything so just wait for let's say 10 15 seconds and give it some time So 
So there you go. The results are in and it thinks it's an Indian elephant 0.93 pretty good and Tusker an African elephant so really good stuff now we're gonna do something live okay so we are going to get a image from the worldwide web and then we're gonna pass it on and see what happens okay let's see what we want to get let's say we want to get a zebra okay so I'm gonna just randomly call for a zebra and we're gonna use pretty much the first image which comes up okay so this one here looks pretty nice I'm going to save the image and we're gonna call it zebra of course all right there you go zebra it is and then save so we do have this image on the target directory okay so I do have a zebra in this part so I'm gonna say zebra okay so now let's go and run this and give it some time for the results to come in okay the results are in and the network thinks it's a zebra it's 99 percent sure it is a zebra the other ones are far far away really good stuff so now you know a little bit about transfer learning and how to reuse pre-built models and weights and so on really good stuff